So here's the room when you walk in. Kids, I'm like Jordan. Every move I made like chess. And you really don't want to be hungover, definitely try those pills out. <laughs> Who makes a couch like this? <laughs> but now we're on our way to catch for dinner. Finally. have a suite if you missed it in the last few vlogs we are in the panorama suite it's our first time staying in this big of a suite so get ready for the room tour <laughs> okay that's sick oh this is us we wow double doors <laughs> oh my god when you walk in it opens up into this living room you have this beautiful couch here it's like split up in two and then the TV and then going this way have a little seating area over here and then we have a little half bath love this setup and I love the wallpaper in here and coming back over this way there's the birthday boy we have a desk over here and I think that this is an interesting feature. The bathtub can open up right into the living room. So I guess you can watch TV, that's my guess. Then we have a table here. I'll show you guys the view in a second. 
a little bar, which one of our friends has the alcohol they're driving in tomorrow morning, so we'll fill that up tomorrow. And then here is the room. Oh my God, this is the first time I'm seeing it. Wow, this bed, that's pretty sick. I like the artwork over here. We have a little credenza chair, and then here's the bathroom officially. Nice big mirror, oh, I should turn this on. Nice big mirrors. I have a little vanity station, so I didn't even bother to bring my travel mirror because I knew that this was here, so this is perfect for me. Obviously, toilet in there. And then the shower, some artwork, and then the bathtub that opens up into the living room. And then I think we have extra storage here. Yeah, and here, Trevor, just FYI, here's where the um, safe is, because I know you like that. So, first off, here's the view from our room. So we have the Cosmo Paris, and then we can see the Bellagio Fountain from here, and the Eiffel Tower and Caesar's Palace. The Arc de Trump. And then coming in here, it's pretty much the same view, just skewed on the angle, but we wanted a view of the Bellagio Fountain, so we're so happy that we got it, and then you can see more of the Paris Hotel over here. Thank and, you, Royce. <laughs> and then the view continues around, but that side is just like the airport and stuff, so we don't care about that. We're gonna be stationed over here. You can also see the Mirage in the distance. So this is the first time for ever seeing the goodie bag. I just gave him his. <laughs> if you guys missed what's in this, check out the last vlog, but I mean, you'll pretty much see it all. Lots of liquid IV. No hangovers. Those are hangover pills. Oh, okay. You take them like an hour before drinking. It's a morning after pill, but for hangover. Yeah. Just some drunk, munchy snacks. Thanks, babe. You really went yeah. all out for this, which doesn't surprise me. <laughs> you and your... Pop. Well, I mean, I figured because everyone's so health conscious coming on here, so. There's the sunglasses. He already knew about those because he was going to go buy himself sunglasses. So I was like, don't. Jesus. I know. Lots in the goodie bags this time. And then what's what's left in there? The best for last. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> this is awesome. I figured that'll fit like three to four shots in it. <laughs> I love it. Thanks, babe. Uh -huh. That's awesome. Trevor is getting the other room key so that A, we have them, and then B, I can drop off all of the goodie bags and kind of set them up in the room. But afterwards, we're going to the pool, hence the outfit change. But I bought these on a whim from the grocery store as a snack for this weekend. These are everything bagel seasoned cashews. They are so good, you guys. Like, I'm shocked. Like, I knew I was gonna like them, but Oh my god, these are amazing. Now we're gonna go check out the pool. Right meow. Right meow. This is so cool. So we have like one entrance and then like a second entrance because ball like that. <laughs> Trevor is napping. I went downstairs 
gambled a little bit, lost all of the money that I brought with me, and by that I mean all $30 that I brought with me downstairs right now to gamble with, so not a huge deal. And then I walked over to Walgreens and just grabbed us like a few things, just some goldfish, because no matter what, I always like goldfish. So I figured that, that was a good snack to tide me over until our friend comes with the rest of the snacks. And then I got myself an AHA lime and watermelon water and a giant jug of water for us. And then I got us a couple of white claws to pregame with. The plan tonight is just, since it's just Trevor and I, we just want to keep it a little bit more mellow. So we are more than likely just going to order in food to the room. We never do room service. So we thought, you know, we have this big suite. Let's be bougie. Let's do room service too. We might go out, but very much leaning towards ordering in. And then we have reservations at the Chandelier Bar at 9. Just do drinks over there. So... That's the plan for tonight. Nothing too crazy. All the craziness is going to start tomorrow when all of our friends get here. But tonight's events are just laid back, chill, quality time with Trevor and I. But since he's napping, I was thinking I'm actually going to go drop off the goodie bags to the other rooms. So I'm going to grab them and then we'll go and we'll check out the other rooms. So this is the first room. Oh my god, their bathroom's really nice too. I love this mural. This is the strip view room. Just a single bed. Oh cute, has a little table. Very cute. And then, oh they have a great view of the Bellagio Fountain. Very nice. Oh this is so cute. Love. Okay. Well, yeah. This is room number one. Here's the next room, pretty much the same except for this one it has two beds on it and their view, I think that they just have like a mountain view, let's see, yeah, just a mountain view, oh, you can see the Hilton, but cute. And there's only two people staying in here because the other couple weren't able to make it, so I don't know which bed they want, but I'll just put this here then. And there we go. Everyone's all set with their goodie bags. Hello, I have fixed myself up. I did a whole get ready with me on this that went up before this vlog. So if you guys want to know what I did for my makeup and also to get this hair texture that I'm obsessed with, make sure to check out that video. I'll link it somewhere on the screen. But we're pretty sure that we're just going to go ahead and order in tonight. So I'm going to pull up the menu for dine-in. But let me just show you guys the view right now because the sun is setting sorry the exposure is not having it but sun's starting to set over here it's really beautiful this isn't doing it justice I, I guess i'll just have to wait for later till it gets a little bit darker so you guys can see a little bit better finally first time i'm catching this the bellagio fountains are going off we can totally see it from our room so awesome i'm so glad that we have this view but i think it's gonna be even better at night oh i guess that was the end of the show i caught the tail end but it might be even better at night because the lights will be on and everything and i think that that'll be even prettier we're waiting for room service to deliver our food but oh, there's my goodie bag i am gonna take the party smart hangover pill right now they say to take it like an hour or so before you start drinking and i'm probably gonna have a white claw with dinner then we're heading to the chandelier bar at the cosmo for more drinks and then I don't know, more drinks. I mean, it's just the two of us. We're not expecting to get super crazy or anything, but it doesn't hurt to test this out. So let's give this a try. It's kind of a waste because like they package each of these individually in this big thing. I'm like, why? There's the one pill. Like I said, you take about an hour before you start drinking, so. So we'll see how that ends up doing for me. Hopefully it works. We got our food. Oh, yeah. hoping they roll it in. 
I know, I think it's because it's not the regular room service. So we deduced, there's like a room service menu on Planet Hollywood, but then right now it redirects you to order from the restaurants. And I think that it's because during COVID they suspended actual room service. It was like you could order from the restaurants and then they deliver it to you. So I think regular room service isn't back. So that's why we got this situation going on. Right now I'm also taking a time lapse. So we got a few things to share. I can smell the truffle fries. You and then we each got a salad. So let's see what we have here. Oh, we each grabbed our own salads. So I got the Caesar. He got this like Hellfire chicken salad. Mm -hmm. Nice. Hummus. 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 And truffle fries. Oh, I love truffle fries so much. You can use so. truffle butter too. But I still got you on my brain. Laying in bed with the pain in my head. Think I had too much champagne. Too much champagne. based on the cocktails that I felt like we were gonna like the most. So we'll see how it goes. Hopefully we both can find some special cocktails that we like. Good but cocktails. Cocktail. But I'm really excited to have drinks inside the chandelier. We always pass by it every single time we're here in Vegas. So it'll be nice for us to actually get to go inside of it for once. Spoke softly. You seem to like me. Right place, right time. Had a feeling you'd be mine from the go. I wonder if we'll be still here at 23 with you right next to me. I don't know. I think I love you. Think I love you barely. You're such a Again? 
Third offer. 125 credits. Why not? Whatever I get is whatever I get. Oh wow, no, that was the best one. Oh shit! Okay. I know. How much is that? How much did you put in? 50? Yeah, 50. Oh. That's still awesome. I came out even. Hi. Yeah. So I've been having a great night. I'm up like $200 right now. Where are we going? I don't know which direction. Uh, we're going to go this way. Okay. Yeah, I'm up like $200 right now because of a few like lucky slot things. But also, too, this is like one of the first times that I've consistently not played the penny slots. I've been playing like 5 cents, 25 cents. And it's been paying off, so very happy right now. That's why we got a third drink at the Chandelier Bar. And just, you know, keeping my fingers crossed this keeps going for the rest of the trip. But even if not, like, that's pretty awesome. Oh, I lost heaven. So, looks like I'm going to be able to test the effectiveness of that hangover pill. Like, I just kept winning tonight, so I just kept drinking. So, hopefully, in the morning, I'll be fine. But right now... I want some chips and hummus for my dinner. And then I might just take a liquid IV. I feel like those two things Can you bring my salad? would be very helpful. Yeah, hold on. Mm. Tomorrow. Don't eat all the hummus. <laughs> huh? So don't eat all the hummus. You ate all of it at dinner. Uh, not all of it. I had a bite. Anyway, the rest of the liquor gets here tomorrow. So we'll outfit the bar then. I think we're gonna try to go to the Paris pool. I'm gonna try to win some more money. And to be fair though, if you guys have watched the last few Vegas vlogs, I have lost spectacularly in Vegas the last three to four, three to five trips actually. Right, I'm talking, I came with a set amount to bet with and I pulled out even more, so I went negative. So I'm owed at least one good night, and I'm happy with tonight. I came back up, I think about, I don't know, Trevor was paying attention when I was counting because I stopped paying attention to myself as I was counting. But I came back up like $190 or more, actually a little bit more. So yeah, good night, played crafts. Very confusing, but the bets that I was winning was staying on the pass, betting on the field, and the horn bet. And then I might throw five on a number somewhere, but yeah, that's basically what I was doing. I like how I'm telling you guys like I'm an expert all of a sudden after playing it one time. But I was good when like $65 on roulette. Roulette is my game. I love roulette. I was telling Trevor I wanted to play the tables this time and play roulette. But again, you know, the minimums here right now, like we were passing through, uh -huh. yeah, Planet Hollywood, three roulette tables we saw were a hundred dollars minimum bet. On and, a Monday. Yeah, on a Monday. And we found one roulette table that was $50 minimum bet. It used to be 10. And I'm like, what the hell? So I was telling Trevor, I'm like, the only time that I'll be able to play the tables anymore is downtown Vegas, but. That'll be 25. Yeah. When they used to be $5. So I don't. I guess I'm just gonna stick to like the video roulette, which isn't that fun, but you know, at least I'm not gonna spend my life savings on like one roll. One hand. <laughs> That's dumb. I don't know what's going on. I guess they have to make their money back, but like, I'm not spending $100 on one round of roulette. There's no way in hell. Something about you supernatural I get goosebumps every time you call Got me running through my fantasies 40 West, I'm doing 93 Tell me where the sparks come from Don't know, did we both bring some? Doing 
doing something that I can't explain. Lately, no, I'm not the same. You're just like Good morning, you guys. It is the next day. I'm all set and ready for our pool day. I'm wearing the zebra bikini today. Trevor's in probably like my favorite swim trunks he's ever had. Hold on. All right, all right. Let me okay. get in the, the light. Okay. He wants to show these off correctly. So if you haven't deduced from the theme of everything for this weekend, his nickname is T-Rex. Yes. And these are like bright pink T-Rex swim trucks and the T-Rex is riding a freaking scooter. Who gave it to Hilarious. me? Hilarious. Your sister? Yeah. Yeah. And Here's, the girls. And, and the girls, just, yeah. Sorry, so thank you guys. Shout out for you. Yeah. So thank you guys because those are freaking funny. I love these. I love, they're my favorite swim trunks that you have. I've never had loud <laughs> board shorts before. But they are too funny. <laughs> they they are awesome. Yeah. But anyways, our friends arrived today. We set uh -huh. them up in their room. Yeah, two of our friends and then two more are coming there today. But they were the ones who had all the stuff. So now we have the bar fully stocked. We have some whiskey, some vodka. They brought Trevor some wine, which it's this is really wine. interesting. Yeah, it's a bur it's aged in a bourbon barrel. So very interested to try that. We got some water and then just some snacks over here. You guys know. I live for these. But yeah, just set us up and then we've got the white claws and trulies in here. And just a little follow up on the hangover pills. Those work. I woke up this morning, I'm sure you guys can tell. Like I feel fantastic, I feel fine. I feel like I didn't drink at all last night. So highly recommend those. Although we didn't go super crazy last night. You know, I'm sure you could tell from the clips I was drunk, but it wasn't like I was blacked out or anything. So I can't comment on them if you're getting drunk at that level but if you're just like getting regular drunk for sure those work because the only thing that i felt this morning was dehydrated but it was also partially from the heat and the fact that we weren't drinking that much water yesterday so if you are planning to go a little crazy one night and you really don't want to be hungover definitely try those pills out These cushions have sock suspenders on them. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Your purse is like nothing. Oh. Your... What? Yeah, I don't have a purse. Save. Oh. Okay, it'll fit just fine in here. That's what I said. Wait, Are you gonna put mine in there too? Let's do a cheers. Can I make another oh, yeah. joke? Yes! Cheers. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, look at me. I see what oh, I did. Oh, my booty on the fucking right screen. <laughs> what is your actual butt crack? Was of course it was. was. Just you'll never know 
from you. Players on the lineup, so I think I'll have a few. But never trust a bus, I think I toss them. So as you can see, I want a little bit tonight. Trevor picked the uh, machine for me. But we're getting out of bed. We're gonna call it a night. All of our friends went to bed like an hour ago. We just kept gambling because we're the only gamblers in the group. But, oh, he's gonna, just kidding. He's, he's gonna put some money into this dollar slot. Maybe it's on to better places with same weather. Nighttime Americana, daylight to Moana. Since you brought this to light, I can say do right. No, it's never over, so we can make it right. Or they say we try, we try to be better, better. What you said is what it sounded like Tell us again, it won't make it fly We're leaving can things were in for life Sometimes I think this is where we lie As far as you know me by now Is where I need to be allowed The summer then turned and filled with belly Hello, it is our last full day here in Vegas. We are for sure gonna go to the Dre's pool today. I can't remember which hotel that's at, but it's where they throw the Dre's pool party. But there's no pool party going on right now because it is a Wednesday, so you can just like get in for free, which is great. We're not sure if we're gonna do something before that. A couple of our friends went to the gym, so it just kind of depends on when we can gather everyone so that we can see how much time we have. But last night, oh my god, I don't know if you guys could tell. I definitely tested those party smart pills to its limit. Like the first night we were drinking, Trevor and I were having a good time. We got drunk, like a good level drunk, and I woke up feeling 100%. Last night, we were going crazy. I actually woke up feeling pretty okay this morning. I would say I woke up at about like 85%. I took a dream of me because I was starting to notice I was just getting a little bit dizzy, which for me usually turns into nausea, so I took a non-drowsy Dramamine just to make sure, but it wasn't as severe as it usually is. It was just like I could lightly feel it, so I was like, mm, let me just head that off. But other than that, I actually feel fine. I just feel very tired, and again, felt dehydrated, but a quick liquid IV totally fixed that right away. And then now I'm just drinking water and coffee you guys saw. But yeah, those pills are great. If you're gonna go hard, I would just like let you know don't think you're gonna wake up feeling 100%. You're definitely gonna feel some light effects of a hangover, but you'll be fine. Like, you'll be good to go. You just probably need to rest up a little bit, but it's not like you're gonna have a huge headache, you're gonna be throwing up or anything like that. But if you're just, you know, hanging out, chill night, having a few drinks, getting a little bit drunk, those pills will like literally make it feel like you weren't even drinking anything at all the night before. So, Definitely a good investment, love them. Definitely gonna take them again today. The way I was doing it since we're day drinking here in Vegas is I took one at about noon for, you know, day drinking and then I would take one again about an hour before we were gonna go out for like the big dinner of the night and stuff. But anyways, we're waiting for everyone to get here. It's about 10 o'clock. Our friends who are not working out are on their way over and then like I said, we're just waiting on the friends that are working out and then we're gonna figure out where we wanna go this morning. Just feeling, just 
something is more than a feeling If it's growing, then when do we see it? See it better, better. It's later and as you can see, we're dressed up or Trevor's still dressing up, but we are heading out to dinner tonight as our fancy dinner of the night. We're gonna go get drinks at the Vesper Bar and we're gonna head over to the Aria where we're gonna be eating at Catch, which is this like really, really nice like seafood slash steak restaurant. I'm excited. They do like Japanese kind of inspired dishes and stuff. So the menu there looks bomb. But yeah, tonight was our night to dress up. Here's my, my look so far. I'm not finished yet. I still have to add my bag and my shoes. I'm just trying to be comfy right now until I have to put on heels. But yeah, that's the plan tonight. The uh, Bellagio show is still going off right now and it should be a fun night. We are checking out of the hotel now. We have everything packed up. We still can't get these damn cushions to stand up correctly. But we are gonna check our bags. It's currently 11 and our flight isn't until four. So we just have to leave for the airport around two or so. So we're gonna go to Paris over here. One last look through this beautiful view. And we're gonna go find somewhere to eat in Paris and just kind of walk around, you know, take some pictures do the whole touristy thing and then we're gonna head out of here
Hope you enjoy coming to Vegas with us. If you can tell we're full. <laughs> we're so full, we're tired. Make sure to like this video, leave a comment, and of course, check right now. Make sure that you're subscribed because I do have a couple more Vegas themed videos coming up. But oh, and then also we have Hawaii coming up. But I love you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.